Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to create a custom pop-up in iMovie using Keynote. So the first thing I do, you can take a screenshot, I'm using Snagit, but I'm going to just take a picture of my movie that I have here, and this is from stock, this is stock footage from, I think it's called Vidvo, Vidivo, or something like that. Um, so I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go into my Keynote, I'm going to create a new Keynote, I'm going to make sure it's on wide. I always choose white. You can choose any color you want, really. Um, and then I'm going to zoom this out to 25% so I can see my entire canvas. I might zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to paste that picture down there. Now, the, the pixelation doesn't really matter, but basically what I'm doing here is I want to see um, like the size of my video. So I can see that I have some space right here. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the shapes and I'm going to insert this shape. Now this might not be the best example of a video, but I'm just going to put this in here anyway since I already have it. I'm going to insert my shape and I'm going to go over to the color. I'm going to change the color to white. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom here and this is the opacity that you want to work with. So you can see how I'm kind of making it see through there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my text. So in my text, the my favorite font that I use right now is Bboss, and you can get that at thefont.com. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say, check out. Now, I like to do my font differently, and then I just kind of work with the font size. So I'm going to go up to 75, and then I just like pop it up here. You may want to, and I also want to make this one bold. Okay. So check out, and then let's change the color of this. I know I might be getting a little bit too fancy here, but that's okay. I'm going to make him this blue, and then I'm going to put another font in. And I'm going to call this one Lizard Man. Remember, this is just for the example. And I think I'm going to go for a script because I like pairing those. Here, let's try Painter. Okay, that looks kind of cool. But again, it's a little small. So I'm going to increase this. Okay, and I'm going to make this. I'm going to change the color to this. I'm going to make that one pink. Okay. I'm just going to do this. So like you could add whatever you wanted here. I just like adding this font. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this lizard and I'm going to change this background so that it's green like the green screen. And then because this is a pop-up, I'm going to want to add them, animate it. Okay, oh, and then I actually, I need to group these, almost forgot, so I'm going to go up to Arrange, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to group this, so now you see if I move this around, they're all together. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Animate, I'm going to go Build In, I'm going to add an effect, and I'm going to move in, there it is, and then it's going to stay for a while. And then I'm going to go build out, add effect. And I'm going to say move out. And actually, I want it to move out the other way. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to record this. So I'm going to go up to play, record slideshow. And I am going to click on record. And I'm going to use my arrows. So my right arrow, there it is, it came in. And now it's going out. And now I'm going to stop that recording. And I'm going to hit escape to get out of here. I'm going to go file, export to QuickTime. And again, I'm going to take it down to 1080. I'm going to choose next. And this is going to be my pop-up. I'm going to save it to my desktop for easy access. Okay, now I'm out of Keynote. I'm back in iMovie. Okay, here's my pop-up. 
going to bring that down right here on top of Lizard Man. And I'm going to change this to green blue screen. And then what you'll see when I play this, and I'm going to use, oh, let me get rid of that audio for first. Control click, detach audio. Now you won't hear double me. Okay. It's playing. There's my pop in. And there's my pop out. So that's how easy it is. You can use this technique to create custom titles as well.